Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, welcome to Swayam Prabha. The course title is Principles of Marketing and the lecture title is Market Selection, Market Segmentation and Product Positioning. This is Module 5, Lecture 1. I am Dr. Shoma Singupta, Associate Professor Commerce, Kamla Nehru College, University of Delhi. In this module, we will discuss the following topics. Choosing market value through segmentation, targeting and positioning known as STP. Market segmentation, philosophy, steps, importance, advantages and disadvantages, levels of market segmentation, criteria for effective market segmentation, basis of segmenting consumer markets. Then market targeting, concept and criteria, product positioning, concept and basis and finally product differentiation, concept and basis. In the first lecture, we will discuss uh, STP as well as market segmentation. Segmenting, targeting and positioning STP model. This is the most commonly applied marketing models in practice and it is a familiar strategic approach in modern marketing. Why we are calling it strategy? Because here the idea is to win over the competition. So you want to be one step ahead of the competition to beat the competitors and because of that you are using STP model. Now this has become popular relatively recently because previously marketing approaches were more based on uh, and around the product. So one of the strategy used to be product differentiation strategy. But now we are using segmenting, targeting and positioning model which focuses on commercial effectiveness, selecting the most valuable segment for a business and then developing a marketing mix and positioning product positioning strategy for each segment now this is relevant all the more to digital marketing uh, because uh, this can be applied at more tactical communication level so this stp model follow a chronological order for market segmentation as the name is STP, segmenting, targeting and positioning, these are the three steps of the STP model. So first is segmentation. You know that the market is com comprises of a whole lot of people, but they, the market may be heterogeneous in nature and all of them are not homogeneous. So and your budget may be a constraint and you cannot cater to the need of each and every individual. So it is better to identify the market to which you can cater uh, to your best effort. Now, now for that purpose, you have to identify the segment. And before that, you have to divide the whole heterogeneous market into a smaller groups which may be homogeneous in certain respect. So segmentation comprises identifying the market to be segmented, selection of bases to be used for segmentation and development of profiles. Then comes targeting. Here you have identified a particular segment and targeting that segment. So this involves identifying the most attractive segment uh, it's or segments in terms of profitability and other criteria. So here you will select one or few segments and um, design marketing mix, a different marketing mix for each of the segments selected. Then comes positioning. This is the more business oriented strategy or stage where the business must assess its competitive advantage and position itself in the consumer's minds to be the more attractive option in these categories. So here you will uh, basically identify again the needs of the uh, customers, what the competitors are offering and then accordingly you will design your marketing strategy and uh, marketing mix and position your product in such a manner that 
it will uh, be, prove to be better than the competitor so maybe any criteria it may be suppose you are talking about chocolates then um, uh, rather than having a chocolate uh, which is sweeter you can have a, a positioning where the chocolate is a little bitter and it is meant for uh, people who prefer a bitter taste of chocolate okay so positioning is uh, vis a vis the competitor's position as well as the needs of the consumer choosing market value through stp for creating value for target customers marketers follow consumer driven marketing strategy of stp so the focus is on the targeted segment and the flow chart of stp model is first of all audience options are found out then audience selection then the production pro production positioning the stp model is useful when creating marketing communication plans as marketers can prioritize positions develop and deliver personalized and relevant messages to engage with different audiences so you will cater to the need of the customer and communicate to that kind of customer in the language which they can understand or uh, uh, the promotion or the advertisement which you are going to telecast or prepare that should match with the profile of the customers uh, in your target targeted category when combined with the firm's marketing mix this is called stp plus marketing mix approach so always remember that whenever we are uh, using stp model naturally we will uh, finally create a marketing mix which will cater to the need of a particular or uh, uh, or target a particular segment uh, which you have selected now we will discuss these uh, strategies that is segmenting target targeting and positioning in detail in the forthcoming slides market segmentation you are well aware the market consists of all kinds of buyers and sellers now when we talk about the buyers now all the buyers will not be sharing the similar type of need or they might not be having even if they have similar kind of needs their purchasing power may be different or their taste will be a little bit different so rather than providing solutions to each of the customer which is impossible you can categorize them into certain segments on certain basis so you will select a basis of segmenting the market because the market is heterogeneous it is not homogeneous so you will segment the market divide the market into smaller groups and these groups are homogeneous in nature that means the characteristic of people falling in a particular segment will be somewhat homogeneous and then you have to decide uh, to which segment you want to cater whether you have, will select one segment or more than one segment so according to philip kotler market segmentation is the subdividing of the market into homogeneous subsections of customers where any subsection may con conceivably be selected as a market segment to be reached with a distinct marketing mix another definition by william j stanton market segmentation consists of taking the total heterogeneous market for a product and dividing it into several sub markets or segments each of which tends to be homogeneous in all significant aspects so this is the whole crux of market segmentation that the market is heterogeneous you cannot cater to uh, the needs of each and every type of customer so you will categorize them into groups and uh, on the basis of certain criteria or basis and you know, then the segments will be formed and the members of the segment will tend to be homogeneous in certain characteristic or certain respect and then you will select a particular a uh, segment targeted with a marketing mix which will be specifically meant for that segment philosophy of market segmentation first of all market segmentation is customer oriented is it is re relatively recent development in marketing thinking and strategy as we have discussed in stp also it's of recent origin this is based on the natural variation or diversity found in general and total market so you will find that all the customers uh, are not alike in all respect they have different characteristic different liking different value system different purchasing power so they are and uh, uh, there are certain variations among the 
customers. Marketers must understand natural diversity or differences among customers and their needs for effective marketing. Markets exhibit widely heterogeneous characteristics with widely different, differing and scattered consumers and widely varying needs and wants. Uh, so you cannot cater to each and everybody because they have widely different needs or wants or their characteristics they differ they differ in terms of their characteristics so if you uh, if you uh, introduce a product of mass consumption uh, for every type of customer it might not be popular in any of the group so the product might fail uh, although there are certain products which are meant for mass consumption mass uh, uh, selling but it is not necessary that all types of product uh, can be sold uh, uh, in mass market by a single offering instead of serving the entire market a firm may identify those markets which can be served most effectively in today's highly competitive environment market segmentation target market selection and effectively positioning the offerings are very essential requirement for gaining competitive advantage now the steps in market segmentation first of all identifying the total market this is the first task uh, of what kind of product you will be dealing in and accordingly you have to identify the total market for that product then dividing the total now in an or uh, in any uh, whether it will be a country or a region whatever it is uh, uh, that will consist of a total market for your product dividing the total market into major sub markets or segments on some basis like demographic or geographic variables so there are different bases of uh, segmenting the market you cannot cater to the needs of the customers uh, spread all over the total market which who may be differing in their needs wants characteristic or language they are speaking or region taste anything so what you can do is on the basis of certain criteria say geographically or demographically you can subdivide this total market into different sub markets estimate the sales potential and profit potential for each of these sub market so you have to find out the profitability factor of each of these sub markets Deta determine the unique characteristics and requirements of each sub market select one or more segment on which the firm will focus on serving so after finding out the profitability of or comparing the potential of each of the sub market you have to find out the characteristic of each of the market and then see which one you can serve better so you will select one or more segment on which the firm will focus all its uh, say the marketing mix will be created on the basis of these characteristics and they will try to serve this target market or targeted markets importance of market segmentation first of all it is a focus strategy segmentation helps in focusing strategies more sharply on target groups so you are not catering to the whole of the market you are selecting a particular segment and focusing on that their needs their and uh, taking care of their characteristic designing a marketing mix uh, keeping in mind this segment only so that's why we can call it focus strategies uh, all your resources will be focused on this particular segment only customer focus customers are better served at low cost so it is it helps the marketer to understand the needs behavior habits uh, tastes and expectations of the consumer of different segments uh, this way customers are better served marketing opportunity also increases as new segments can be added so uh, what you can do you can if you have limited resources you can select one target segment serve it well and when the company will start growing extra funds are there then you can think of catering another segment so you can add another segment a deeper knowledge um, uh, for this deeper knowledge and understanding will be there or uh, among the marketer it helps the company to know demand pattern of each segment thus increases the sales volume of the product better allocation of resources is there uh, limited resources can be channelized for best results so rather than uh, putting all your resources 
to cater to the whole of the market and it may go waste you are selecting and targeting a particular segment and focusing on that so you even if you are a small player but you can be a big winner in a particular segment and focus attention will be there with a limited fund you can win the competition also so market segmentation makes it possible to satisfy a variety of customers with a limited budget and limited product range by using different promotional activities marketing can be more specialized when there is a seg uh, there is segmentation as the uh, each of the element of marketing mix uh, will be uh, derived uh, 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 through more of research of the market characteristic uh so we can say that it is specialized the next importance is that the company will enjoy better competitive position it helps in better assessing correctly strengths and weaknesses of competitive competitors in a particular segment helps in achieving a better competitive position for existing brands segmentation helps in adopting different policies programs and strategies for different markets based on rivals policies programs and strategies and as we have discussed early in an earlier point also that with a limited budget also you can win over the competition it helps in identifying gaps in the market which represent new product opportunities new profitable segments are identified and added new customers are attracted because of segmentation strategy and thus opportunities are created for growth segmentation supports the development of niche strategy so niche is a, a very specific segment which we will discuss later on uh, here Mm, even a smaller it is smaller than a segment and uh, it is very specific and the members of this niche market or uh, uh, they uh, they share a very specific need and they have a specific characteristic so uh, you can uh, go deeper and win the niche markets also disadvantages of market segmentation now uh, increase cost is one thing now if you are uh, se selecting a small targeted segment and uh, targeting your, all your resources in that marketing mix you are creating for that segment then you can have a control on the cost but if you uh, want to cater to different market segments you have you will have to create different marketing mix like say promotion also advertisement also for different markets so different segments then the cost will escalate so if the marketer wishes to serve more number of market segments he needs to develop different marketing mix for different segments as the following cost will increase of course the production cost due to short, shorter production runs will be there product very you have to take care of promotion cost as different promotion program is required for different products distribution cost as different distribution channels or modes are required to cater to different segments investment and sunk cost also increases when characteristics or requirement of a market segment changes uh, this uh, cost uh, the investment cost will go waste so investments will become useless larger inventory need to be maintained of different products meant for different segments so these are the disadvantages of market segmentation levels of market segmentation there are four levels one undifferentiated or mass marketing second differentiated or segmented marketing third concentrated or niche marketing and the fourth one is micro or local or individual marketing we are going to discuss them in detail in the next few slides the first level of market segmentation is undifferentiated or mass marketing now before the onset of the marketing age there was widespread adoption of mass marketing mass production distribution and promotion so with industrialization mass marketing came into picture mass marketing involves offering the same product and applying the same marketing mix to all customers assuming that there is no significant difference among consumers in terms of their needs and wants now it is also considered as a shotgun approach and the assumption here is that the company feels that no segmentation is necessary and designs its marketing program to appeal to all the buyers now this relies on mass distribution and mass advertising so all the three things are there mass 
production is there and then distribution promotion advertising everything is uh, on a mass scale so there will be one advertisement meant for every everybody now this is suited for fruits vegetables drugs chocolates uh, bakery items stationery items low price soaps are also uh, uh, sold in that this manner also a uh, manner only suppose there was an uh, company swastik neem was there that was only one product and that is meant that was meant for everybody so it was sold on a mass scale now the product doesn't exist or it's not it has lost most of its market probably the advantage is economies of scale and minimum cost disadvantages difficult to develop a product that will satisfy the needs of everybody so this kind of problem may be there with undifferentiated marketing the second level is differentiated or segment marketing here market segmentation comes into picture marketer recognizes that buyers differ in their wants purchasing power geographical location buying attitudes and buying habits marketer tries to isolate some broad segments that make up a market so consumers belonging to a segment are assumed to be quite similar in their wants needs characteristics tastes preferences so marketer designs a separate offer for each of the segment now this is called on rifle approach the undifferentiated one was called the shotgun approach companies using segment marketer are procter and gamble general motors etc which use this segment marketing or the rifle approach where the target there is a target and you are focusing on that target and that's why it is called a rifle approach the advantage of this type of uh, uh, segmenting is that marketer can create a more fine tuned product or service offer and price it appro appropriately for the target audience disadvantage is that cost escalates as we have discussed earlier also if more number of segments are added because then you have to create separate marketing mix for to cater to each of the segment and then the cost will multiply coming to the third level concentrated or niche marketing now as i told you that niche is uh, a smaller segment and uh, it is much much smaller than a segment and here the members of a niche they uh, share a very specific characteristic or uh, 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 this is more narrowly defined group so a niche is a more narrowly defined group whose needs are not well served so now you can focus on that niche features of niche marketing are customers in the niche have a very specific and distinct set of needs they are ready to pay a premium to the firm that best satisfies their needs the niche's offer is somewhat unique and is not likely to attract other competitors the niche gains certain econo economies through specialization so niche has a size profit and growth potential and that's why you are going for a niche market now examples of niche marketing are any designer store which you can see where the products are uh, uh, products are meant for a specific type of customer and they are very expensive uh, or even the specific websites uh, which are um, uh, catering to the needs of a very specific segment like the cattoys.com so it it can be considered as a niche market the fourth or the last level of market segmentation is micro or local or individual marketing many a times these three words are used interchangeably but in some some of the books they have been defined uh, separately now micro micro marketing occurs when target market is further bifurcated and the needs of the small customer groups are addressed on a local basis so this can be different from niche market because niche market when we talk about niche it is uh, about people uh, who share a similar type of need and it is more specific and as well as they have a high purchasing power but here we are not talking about purchasing power alone so marketing programs are tailored to the needs and wants of specific individual or local customers so here more focus is on uh local people local customers local needs and preferences 
For example, different edition of newspaper for different areas cover local news. So you will find even if the Times of India is there and the, there are national news, but in the middle of that, uh, on uh, page, uh, say, second, third or fourth, you will find certain local news also. So that is micro marketing. Advantages is advertising costs can be reduced by marketing, uh, making advertisements addressing local target groups instead of going for national advertising. So you don't have to spend on mass advertising. You can cater to the local population through uh, uh, this type of micro marketing and your advertisement will go to those people only who live in a particular locality. So that you can do if uh, in the newspaper, uh, the, uh, uh, the portion which is covering the local news there if you put up your advertisement likewise if there is a cinema hall and you can have advertisement strips or film strips uh, that can be added uh, during the uh, interval or intermission when advertisements are shown then the you can see a number of film stri strips and um, these cater to local people only now, local and regional retailers demand more fine-tuned product assortment for the neighborhoods and hence they prefer this strategy of the companies. Disadvantages are drives of manufacturing and marketing costs by reducing economies of scale. So in mass marketing, economies of scale is there, but that is not there in case of local marketing. It increases logistical problems and it problems and it also dilutes the brand's overall image. So that image of a being a um, national brand that may wane off in case of micro marketing. The three variants of micro marketing are customized marketing, individualized marketing or individual marketing and personalized marketing. But these are quite similar in nature. Uh, the focus of customized marketing, uh, in case of customized marketing, the focus of the target marketing is further shifting from local basis to individual customer basis with the advancement in manufacturing and information technology like computer aided design and manufacturing it has now become possible to manufacture a product as per the individual customer needs now second is individual marketing here the ultimate level of segmentation leads to one-to-one -one marketing so uh, it is that's why it is called individualized marketing mass customization uh, is the ability to prepare on a mass basis individually designed products and communication to meet each customer requirement. So this can be possible that mass customization is taking place like each of the for each of the individual you are making a customized product. So this is used extensively in marketing of services. Now, finally, personalized marketing here requirements for a, for a customer are of a customer are met by a custom made product according to personal fits like the tailors. They do that uh, still customer does not retain loyalty because of the competition. Criteria for effective market segmentation. Now you are dividing the total market into smaller segment and catering to those segment. But how will you decide that this segment will be beneficial for the company or this will bring profitability to the company? For that, you can use certain criteria or whether uh, serving this uh, particular segment will be beneficial for the company or not. So the criteria may be uh, measurability. First of all, this is the degree to which the size and purchasing power of the segments can be measured. Um, this is an important condition to judge the business potential of the segment. Uh, to be maximally effective, segmentation, segmentation basis should be measurable and the data with respect to it should be available. So this is the first criteria that the segment should be big enough or measurable. It should be measurable and their purchasing power can be identified. Accessibility is the another criteria. The segment should be effectively reached and served that is accessible through the existing institution. Uh, suppose it is in a far flung area which is not accessible or there are no transportation routes over there. Then naturally though there is a segment it will not be possible for you to cater to them and even if you think of catering to them the cost will escalate and so that will not be profitable for you. 
It must be possible to reach the different segments in regard to both promotion and distribution. So uh, even if distribution is possible, but if promoting the product to that uh, particular segment is very difficult because of absence of say electricity or mass media over there the, uh, or any kind of media over there then naturally uh, we can consider that segment inaccessible so accessibility is another criteria in uh, seg uh, target seg target segment selection the next criteria is substantiability that is, this is the degree to which the segments are large and profitable. So, not only they are accessible and measurable, but they are profitable also. So, that big size should be there of the segment. Substantiality is relative and area specific. A small segment with lots of profitable business potential can also be considered substantial. So, it has nothing to do with only the geographic area. It may be that in a small area, all the people have the potential to become the customer of your product. So we can say that this segment is substantial. Actionability is another criteria. It is the degree to which uh, the effective programs can be formulated for attracting and serving the segments. Another criteria for uh, selecting the segment is defensibility, whether the marketer who cultivated the segment in the first place can defend the segment or it will lose market share and investment to larger or more capable competitors. So it means that is it very easy to imitate your strategy or uh, there is a chance that a competitor may, may uh, enter the market or whoever is the competitor already existing in the market they can uh, come out with another strategy and your market will uh, your product will uh, fail in that market so that is whether you can def defend your territory or not that is defensibility uh, and that is again uh, on the basis of the targeted segment characteristic of the targeted segment finally the last criteria is differentiability the segments are conceptually distinguishable and respond differently to different marketing mix elements and program so this market segment is li little different or very different from another segment so they have their own characteristics and that's why you are targeting that segment isn't it otherwise you could have clubbed two segments which are similar in nature okay so that differentiability criteria should also be uh, maintained uh, by the segment to be selected uh, if married and unmarried women respond similarly to a sale of perfume they do not constitute a separate segment so then it will be futile to have two segments like married and unmarried for that kind of perfume so these are the criteria which should be kept in mind while segmenting the market and selecting the segments. To summarize, we can say the process of STP follow a chronological order for market segmentation and that is segmentation, targeting and positioning. Market segmentation is the subdividing of market into homogeneous subsections of customers where any subsection may conceivably be selected as a market target uh, to be reached with a distinct marketing mix. Market segmentation is a focused strategy to serve strategy to serve the customers better with a limited budget and gain competitive strength. But it may become costly uh, if the marketer decides more number of segments to be served. The levels of market segmentation are undifferentiated or mass marketing, differentiated or segmented uh, marketing, concentrated or niche marketing and micro marketing, local or individual marketing. The criteria for effective market segmentation are measurability, accessibility, substantiability, actionability, defensibility and differentiability. Thank you very much students. So this was market selection, market segmentation and product positioning, module 5, lecture 1.